in this video i'm working on this engine again it's for the rx8 and it's had a water pump delete enjoy yeah take that <laughs> First off, I'm going to strip these down. I need the stack gear here. I'm going to need this. Um, and I'm going to need the stack gear in the front as well. And then I'll put these to the side somewhere, as I was saying. Um, and then, yeah. And then I'll go ahead, mark and notch these for these bridge ports that are in here. And then um, might look to get some paint on them, give them a good clean. Get rid of this grunge that's in these water jackets. And um, yeah, then it should look like something. So it got them out fairly easy. As you can see, it's just oil there. A little bit of wear there. See that copper showing through there on the bearing? And then, yeah, this one's, this one's got a bit too. Right through there. So I'll replace these later on, but that's all good. What I'll do now is I will set the rotor housing next to these where they need to go and mark out those um, notches. So what I've done here, I've just peeled up the front rotor housing with a front plate and I don't know how well you can see it but I've just put a mark down where the edge of that bridge port is then I'll take this apart and I'll just put a I'll just put an edge on it there so just so it opens that port up as much as possible all right Yeah, so I only just ground out just a little bit, but already you can see that's opened that port right up. So that's good there. I've um, done this side as well, and I've tried to keep it, you know, trying to give it a bit of meat between the notch and the water jack, uh, water seal. So I think that's all it needs. They're not very big bridge ports, so I reckon it's all good. All right, I'll do the next one. So all notched out now, ready to go. So I've just been looking at these rotors and the bearings inside aren't actually too bad at all. But for the sake of like 30 bucks each, I will I will swap these out, the same as with the stack gears. Um, so the, as I said, these are all notched out, good to go. What I do need to do, as this engine will have a turbo attached to it, is get an oil feed. Now on the older engines, it's actually right here. You can actually see where the oil pumps through. So I'm going to just go drill a hole through here. I don't have a fitting for it at the moment, but I'll get one. And I'm, I'm unsure whether I'm going to tap it or I'm just going to weld it in there. But I'll drill a hole in there now and you may have a look. That was actually um, surprisingly quite thick. But as you can see down there, or not see, it actually picks up on that oil gallery there. So on this engine here, which is a Series 4 engine, I believe, that's what this is here. It's, it's blocked off on this one, obviously, because I'm not running a turbo. But quite a lot of oil pumps up through there. So I'll just get a fix in there. And then, yeah, I'll just run an oil feed line to the turbo, which will probably be seen over here, actually. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. 
So decided to paint these plates black and the housings red. I think that'll look the business. But before I can do any of that, with this front cover, I don't want any of this. All of that there is going to hinder my turbo manifold coming up here. I don't want water lines there. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting rid of all this meat all the way around here and actually losing this pump altogether. And what I'll do is I'll run a, a Franklin adapter, engineering adapter, put it here and side mount alternator over here. And I'll just run a water pump for it. Not ideal for what I'm building, but I, I really do need that real estate through here. Okay, that's going to be a nightmare to cut. Okay, let's see what I can do. All right, so after two days of procrastinating on doing this, I finally decided to cut the living shit out of this. And the weapon of choice is the old saber saw. I can't be bothered doing this with a grinder. But anyway, the track I'm going to run is pretty much all the way up around here. Keep these bolt holes up in here and just cut all the way around through here. And over here somewhere, there's actually an oil something there. I'll keep that. So probably here, I'll actually cut that straight through there. Um, I believe this is for the coils. The coils can be mounted somewhere else now. All right, I'll get into cutting this. <laughs> definitely getting there with that saber saw it's definitely doing the trick um, I will clean this all up nice with a grinder it looks rugged as at the moment but that's not a problem I will have to weld this hole up here and I'm not 100% sure what that's about this one but I'll weld that up anyway and yes yeah, so I've got most of this off so I'm just going to cut down through here now yeah So I've managed now to cut the big chunks out, um, which looks a bit silly now. But what I need to do is now sand all this up. I still need to keep this bolt hole, this one here. So I'll just try and clean all this shit away from it, make it look a little bit better than this. Yeah, we're getting there. Well, finally, here it is. Everything I didn't need is removed. So that should work out sweet. Um, I've also gone ahead and wired up the oil metering pump holes. So this this car be running on um, premix anyway. So that's all good. And I've got sizes up there now. That's the one. And I'll just run that flange. Like I was saying, run an electric water pump there. And then over here now, I've lost all this dumb water hoses that were here, oil metering pump. Oh, I don't need that now, that's gone. So there's plenty of room to throw a manifold straight up through here. I was planning on painting this block in this video, but I still have to do this. So that can wait. But besides that, no, I'm pretty happy with that. Should do the job fine. Oh yeah, and if you know a really good welder, I've got a cheap water pump housing for sale. <laughs> So that's about going to do it for this video. Um, probably only in the next couple of days or so, I will paint this block. I'll try and do that turbo feed fitting 
and I've also got that 12A that's under my bench here. I need to go through that because that's coming up for sale. Um, plans have changed on that and the owner just wants out of it. Um, on a side note, if you have seen on Smugs, Smugs World's channel, um, he's doing a raffle at the moment. It's $50 a ticket. There's only 100 tickets to um, get a car airbrushed. I'd flip and love to get him to do that car. That will be on. Like matte black and skulls and shit will look so cool. And also there's a there's a swap meet in Caddy Cat this weekend. It was really, really cool. So many cool old parts. Um, I don't know how often they're going to be doing these, but I'll try and put a link um, down in the description. I don't know how to do that, but I'll, hopefully I'll figure it out. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>